Most of the modern main DAF tanks have a crew of four, apart from the Leclerc, which has a crew of three, and these can weigh anything up to 70 tonnes, which gives them a very high level of protection, but it does limit their deployability. So there's a trend in the marketplace to develop what I call not light tanks, but medium weight main battle tanks. And being shown for the first time at Eurosatu 2018 is this, this beast. This is basically the Turkish Otokar Tupla infantry fighting vehicle, which has previously been shown fitted with an uh, um, unmanned turret armed with a 30mm cannon and 7.62mm machine gun. They've taken that turret off and replaced it by this turret. This is a Belgian CMI defence turret. Well proven. What is unusual about this turret, it has a crew of two, which is the commander and the gunner. It doesn't have a loader for the simple reason it's got an automatic loader in the bustle. So that has enabled a much more compact turret to be developed, which is lighter. And the 105 gun, in addition to firing the normal rounds, which are armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding sabo, um, high explosive anti tank, smoke, and so forth, it can also fire a laser guided missile out to a maximum range of 5,000 meters. And that enables targets to be engaged well beyond the range of the, the 105 mm gun. To enable targets to engage with a high fresh round hit probability, it is fitted with a computerized fire control system. And both the commander of the gun has stabilized sights, which include day channel, thermal channel, and a laser rangefinder. If you can see mounted on the top of this one, this is the commander's panoramic sighting system, and that enables hunter killer target engagement to take place. In that, the target is first acquired by the commander, and then, if it is current as hostile, hands over the gunner, and, and he carries out the target engagement. So what is this? It's a highly mobile, medium weight main battle tank, which can be rapidly deployed to where it is needed, and is just one of a number of vehicles of this type on the international market, and the mere fact is on the turret is in production proven, the chassis is full, fully developed, so if a customer wanted it, it could be produced fairly rapidly. The actual chassis and turret can have a pleak armour to have a higher level of survivability and several dismounts could be carried in the rear.